Hi guys and good afternoon. It was it will be good morning, but I did a live chat on my other channel, which is called uh, Avis C. Click right there to subscribe. And also, um, yeah, so I basically go live over there most of the time. And uh yeah. But anyway, um me and my kids, my mom fixing to get up and go somewhere. Don't know where we're going. I know school start back in two weeks. And I might just go. I bought my son Destin shoes already. And um I might go to the shoe place in Georgia to go see what kind of shoes they have I can find for my girls. And I already bought their backpacks. They gotta go, they doing uniforms this year. So also I might just get some khakis for them, extra stuff. And we're going to go get some lunch. Me personally, you guys, I want seafood. I know you guys said inside of our Facebook group um, that you wanted me to do. Well, I said I'm going to do a mukbang. And I told you, you should do seafood or Chinese or whatever. You guys told me um do Chinese because it would be different. So I might do a Chinese mukbang for you guys today if I get a chance to do so. If not, I'm going to be crunching on me some crabs because I actually need a crab fix right now. Um... What else? I'm doing good because I know you guys, I really haven't needed like a really an update over here lately. I haven't been really doing anything over here besides like beauty stuff, I think. But, um, of course, I'm keep doing my blogs here and stuff. And you can find like, like my live videos and other videos on my other channel. And that's basically it. I basically do like my rants over there and Whatever I feel like talking about or whatever they feel like talking about at the time, that's what we will talk about. So, yeah, you should come on over to the other channel because, you know, it's the same as this, but we just get a little ratchet over here. I'm trying to keep it over here. <laughs> positive vibes. And over there, it's still positive vibes, but sometimes we get into our feelings over there. Um, so, yes, that's all. And um, that's what I'm doing. So, I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up and get dressed for the day. And, um... Probably going grocery shopping so mama can cook dinner for tonight. I'm still over here at grandma's house. But you guys probably don't even know that. Because I haven't been told you guys over here to think. But I'm still over here living with my grandma. Um, Due to my air conditioning unit. Whole thing went out. Uh, thought it needed fuse, But it was gone. So we got to pay $800. Um, for to get a refurbished one. Or $3,000 for a new one. So we just said we got a refurbished one. That would work just the same and the guy said he has one so yeah if you feel my other channel you guys know that and a lot of you guys ask can you donate so if you want to donate just go over there or I just put it in the comment section you don't have to believe me you don't have to but if you want to you can and um so we'll probably get it between now and the next week and a half or two weeks if the Lord see fit um Everything else is good. Me, I'm good. My children good. Husband good. We're good. We had a little fallout out though, but huh, shit back on track. So, um, and yes, nothing about no other stuff. I don't know why we all think we have a fallout out. It gotta be about cheating. The fuck? Are there any other things that married people can have a fallout out about? The fuck? <laughs> But okay, you guys. Um, yeah, just check out my other channel where it go down, and I'll see you guys later in the next. Hi, you guys. So I'm now I'm in the car. They're about to come to the car. Oh, I got my curls all together. I'm trying to figure out what pair of shades I might want to wear. I wear these. Make sure they're nice and clean. <laughs> Don't you guys, don't you guys love when your spouse call you out throughout the day just sporadically just to, just to say, hey, I love you, I miss your voice, or what you're doing, and let's video chat, so I'm finna get ready to go, let me see what you got on, you know, see what, you know, all the type of stuff, how cute it is, I'm like, man, because the dress I had on top of me like a turtle, so how you look like a turtle in your dress, I say, well, I'm gonna deform turtle because the shell is in the front. Which is my stomach. You know, he was like, oh, shut up. He don't like when I talk like that. But, um, I'll just be, you know, just be talking half the time. And, yeah. I 
gotta get some gas too. I think I wear these. Or you think I should wear my famous ones I always wear. Which are these? I think I keep on the ones I have on. Go tell your grandma Sharon I got shoes in the car for her. So she just come on. Yeah. Huh? A loaf of bread back? We said a loaf of bread back? You Grandma, you said grandma said bring a loaf of bread back? Yeah. All right. All right, you guys, let me reset my camera and figure out where I really want to put it at. Look at all my marks. I don't know where I want it at. I'm trying to make sure it's not in the way too much, but I think that's a good angle. So, yeah. You guys, the devil is trying to stop me and my baby from going on our vacation. First, is now it's the day. Air condition, I just told y'all about. Yeah. Will you take the computer too? No, because you can't play games on the computer without the internet. Just like that phone, my, my phone back there is going to go off because they don't have no internet connected to it once we leave the house. Yeah, tell Grandma Sharon she got to come up because I got to get some, get some gas now. Put my wig way in the far back back there. Put it back there. Yeah. Oh, it's an old report card. Put the thing down somewhere, please. this tea because I got some tea to tell y'all okay tell me why my lashes look weird with the world anyway tell me why one of my subscribers I let my own finish it y'all tell me why one of my subscribers is in love with my mother not just any old subscriber. Guess what? It's not one of my male subscribers. It's a female subscriber. She jumped in Mama DM. Tell the mama to send her fresh pics. All kinds of told her mama that she in love with her. Mama said, like, oh, you told her you're not that type of woman. I simply asked. I did not understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I talk to anybody. I think it's glad that I talk to anybody. I encourage anyone. Um, I pray for anybody. I have that unconditional love for anyone. Um, and I don't normally discuss anything that anyone ever comes to me with. This particular um, time, she called me in the middle of the night. She and, called her up through Facebook Live, and I was like really worried, like. Who's this person calling me? Like, so I, like the girl that called me. And I did not call back. Then I just shrugged it off. Then a couple weeks later, she called again. And I didn't answer the phone. So she sent she sent me a message asking me for pics. Asking me for my personal phone number. Told me that she loved me. How old am I? And I'm like, okay, now I know. See, this is the kind of stuff that the dudes be doing. 
because I have plenty of them trying to talk to me in the in inbox and all. You know? So I'm like, nope, this Talk is not a little bit, work. bro. I'm like, nope, this is not going to work. You don't need to have a picture of me. And I said, no, I don't give out my personal number. I finally had to block Sister Girl because she was getting serious. You know, I did I did call her um, back after a while because I wanted to explain to her because it looked like there was something wrong with her. I felt sorry. I called her back, and um, but I FaceTimed her because I wanted to see what she was talking about. Couldn't make out anything that this sister girl was talking about. She looked like she was a little high, and I said maybe she's a little off a little bit or something. And she went right back to sending me these little things about she loves me. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to send you a naked picture, Mom. No. Oh! You no, know, somebody, she loves me and stuff, so that just ain't going to work. So, I can't, you can't, you know, they say you can't save everybody. Well, you can't be friends with everybody, but I still have, I don't think she loves everybody. I'm not, I'm not that type of woman. I'm sorry. Mama come right at me and trying to call me in the middle of the night, trying to tell me, I don't want to hear nothing about DJ the that, 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 that trying to talk to you. Oh, my Lord. Mama, you swinging that way not? No, I am not. <laughs> Mama, subscribe. Mama said, Mama had said, well, oh, this is one of Ava's subscribers. But how many of my subscribers are you trying to hit you up? No, I have a lot of... Uh, I'm talking about not, not, talking about not like that, but you know. I have a lot of... Um, Friend, friendly, respectful young women and men that do um, contact me has become my friends because of you. And there's some, uh, you know, some inbox me for this and some inbox me for that. But it's nothing about anything other than, you know, uh, friends or a prayer or stuff like that. But it's nothing like this one right here wanting to see some pictures. And she wouldn't, it wasn't talking about pictures, she's talking about pictures. That's something that my, um, husband or god friend be wanting to see and that's not something I do for them either so no pitch those kind of pictures what what grandma got on the hunt shirt is what grandma got on the shirt so no ma'am no wow well, you know what grandma where to be my god my love like okay I'm a grandmother and I Everything is everything. Oh, oh my God. Y'all are something else. Like a hen Marcus and Crystal Nine, especially Sierra. Who trying to talk to Auntie? Who her eye? I'm straight as an arrow. <laughs> I am attracted to male, to the male gender. I have nothing against anyone. I have nieces and and adopted daughters and all that are um, of the LGBT right. And I have nothing against them because I love them unconditionally and I pray for everyone. So I don't have a pick, you know, a, a particular set of people that. I sway to more than other, but for me, I like men, and then I don't particularly care for anyone, whether it's a man, excuse me, whether it's a man or a woman, in my inbox asking me for pictures, personal pictures, or my personal number, or trying to find out what grandma look with a nightgown off. <laughs> I'm not that kind of female, I'm sorry. What kind of mess was this? She said she buy that life, mom. All I can say is that get you some um part of a data, I saw that thing. Get you a loaf of light bread. And you can see all them rows of the light bread bread has going on. That's how I look underneath my nightgown. Mama, really? Yeah. The visual, really? Yeah, that's it. I'm honest. Uh, I'm, I'm so ashamed, you guys. I'm so ashamed. Oh, So what are we going to cook for dinner tonight, Dan? Uh, I don't want to talk about nothing to eat right now. It's not about 
Oh, we had no when we get there. No, you gotta find me something to drink. Would you make some sandwiches? They ain't got no, have no big old, big old. I'm so tired of this right here. I don't want anything. Right here. Folks, we'll be back. We will be back. I'm gonna get two pair of contacts. Oh. Right. Sitting down watching the youngins play. I'm gonna lock my door. It don't reach you this far. And mama living like a darn horse. I'm gonna let you Oh, something on me. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all kids. <laughs> yeah, Vonda, Mama, you remember this? <laughs> I done the time. We don't want to talk about that. <sighs> hey, little Nene. Hi, mm hmm. Did you like have a, almost the same thing that day? <laughs> go to the, if you can make it, go to the canopy over there. No, I shouldn't say over there. Where? Oh, back over there. <sighs> uh huh. Oh, here we go. Mother and I have found money at the park. I found money first, and then she found money herself. Tell me, that's not a blessing. I thought she was bull skating when she said, and there goes some more right there. I looked down, it was. Look at that. And the kids found the rock. Yeah, so we go do the rock findings and stuff. They always find them. I found one the other day, me and Trini. They are so pretty. We're going to take them back home with us. I told you we got to hide them, but my children don't want to hide them. They want to keep collecting them. I said, that's not what you're supposed to do. What are you talking about, Mom? I'm about to get on the park right now. I probably think somebody's not on, on this canopy over here. Too late, girl. You got here late. We on the canopy. Go down the slide. Uh huh. That's what it was. Not today, boo. Not today. Anyway, um, y'all see my lashes? I look at my lashes, and they're not faulty. Mm -hmm. You see mine? Mine's not faulty. Yeah, I can't. I can't see it. Oh, you got those faulty. No, these are. I look. It's that mascara. Okay. I'm like, ooh. But all right, folks, all right, folks, I want to just share my testimony, my blessing, with how me and mama found the money at the park. Yeah, awesome. Right? right. The park. I am out of breath. I've been running, playing with the kids, literally playing hide and seek with my kids and other kids that are at the park. I thought it would be fun if we just play hide and seek, you know, instead of just run up and down the slide. And, really but the park is you. really ginormous. Like, I mean, you can't even see everything, but it even goes way, way back there. And have so many trees that you can hide behind. It's so cool. So, and that's what we did. So now, for the ready to go, kids want to go to Dollar Tree. So, we'll take them to Dollar Tree and um, get something to drink. Find out we're going to cook for dinner and head on back to the house. 
fun day, fun day. See you later. I'm out.